everyone and welcome back hope you are enjoying this java programming series where we are covering the frequently asked prop java problems in mncs like tcs wipro infosys and so far we have covered the many string and array problems today we are going to cover a very important problem which is uh, fibonacci series using recursion so without wasting time let's get started let me just create a class first so i will name it as fib it's a fibonacci okay i will also generate the main method now before going ahead and starting with the problem itself let me first explain you two terms one is recursion what exactly is recursion okay and then second one is what exactly is fibonacci series okay what exactly is the fibonacci series so first recursion what exactly is the recursion a function a function calling itself again and again is called recursion okay i will show you how exactly a function is going to call itself again and again now we will see what exactly is a fibonacci series so suppose in problem you are uh, asked that you have to print a fibonacci series of 10 elements so what exactly this fibonacci series will look like so fibonacci series will look something like so what exactly is fibonacci series it's a sum of two previous num numbers okay so suppose this particular number if i have to get i will have to sum the previous two numbers these two numbers are fixed 0 and 1 now we'll get 0 and 1 1 now after that we'll get 2 after that we'll get 3 after that we'll get 5 then 8 then 13 then 21 then we'll be getting 34 so this is these are the 10 elements okay so like that it will work so now without wasting time let's get started with the video okay and our program so let me just create one class first i will name it as print some print fibonacci print fib i will name it and we will be receiving some value in that like i will name it as value okay now as i told you our number is the combination of last two numbers i am going to create some variables uh, like the second second previous num is equal to 0 and then previous num is equal to 1 and at the end we have to get this number print we have to get and print this number so we'll get number and currently i will start with the 0 this one okay now there are many concept that you will be able to learn in this video so like keep watching and stay with me till the end now what we are going to do is see number how we are going to get if we'll do the sum of second previous and the previous so just like that we have to do number number is equal to second second previous number plus previous number okay we got it here all right now what we have to do is in a if I, we have to move print 10 we have to first we'll get this we'll print this then we have to move ahead so it will be something like a loop okay but how exactly we are going to move ahead so as we move ahead we have to shift this right so previous number currently second previous is this next time the second previous will be this the next time the second previous will be this okay so what we are going to do is we here we will take second previous num is equal to previous okay and then previous is equal to number okay don't worry i am going to explain it once again okay number is capital okay number okay now we are going to use recursion so how exactly this recursion work first of all whatever we get we need to print that okay so whatever the number will be getting from these two we will keep on pr printing it okay now now the recursion concept comes so function calling itself so see we are inside this print fib function and from this function itself we are calling this function okay from from the print fib itself we are calling the print fib so a function calling itself again and again is called recursion okay so from the print fib only we are calling print fib and this time every time we are going to do value minus 1 that like this is why that is like this is how this is going to count like uh, we have 10 so first of all it will be printing this then this and it will keep on decreasing the value 
so that it will keep track that now the 10th is completed and I have to come out. Now there is one thing I need to check the if value is greater than 0 like that only we will be able to know that uh, okay we have completed the 10 elements okay. Now what I am going to do here is I just need to call this particular function. So as you know in java if i have to call this function i will have to create an object of this particular class and then i need to use the reference to call this but what if i want to directly call this what i can do is i can make this as static and after making this static you will get some error because these are non-static variables and we cannot access non-static inside a static method so what i can do is i can make these variables also static okay now everything is fine we will be just call this particular method from here and suppose i am passing 10 elements so currently it will not give me the desired result why because see from here if i will pass 10 it will start from 1 see 0 plus 1 it will give me 1 okay so it was see i will print it to you and i will show you what exactly it will print okay let me just print it in one line and then i will show you i will give some spaces here okay and I will show you what exactly it will print. See, it will start from 1, 2, so something like it will. St it is starting from here, okay? But we know that in Fibonacci series, these two are defaults, okay? So what we can do is from here itself, we can print it, okay? So we will print it second previous number. So we have initialized from 0 and 1, so directly we, we will print it here. And it is a static variable, so directly we will be able to access inside this main method, okay? now we will give some spaces in between second previous and previous will print okay now here we need to give the plus okay and here also print okay now here the condition is we already have printed two values so it should be greater than two okay because we have already printed two values or what we can do is we can do here 10 minus 2 we can do or pass okay so whatever is fine for you you can do that because we have already printed two values at first now the rest is 8 okay so value greater than 2 so, so here if we'll do that it will be dynamic because every time we know that this 2 is going to print in any case okay so now if we'll run this you will be able to get the desired result okay if there is any doubt in this particular problem and how exactly we are getting this and how exactly the things are working, you can always let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching and keep following and keep subs like make sure you subscribe to this channel because we are going to uh, like uh, solve these types of problem every one day or two. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.